John, as we were just speaking about, uh, d despite uh, some of the stuff I've had a chance to fly through uh, the years in flight tests, one thing I have not thankfully had to deal with is significant amount of smoke in the cockpit. Through the demo uh, that I just did here in your SIM device, it's pretty obvious you've got an elegant solution to a tough problem. It is. It's a simple solution to a very complex problem. Recognize that in this country, on the airlines alone, we divert about three airplanes on average a day uh, due to some form of an in-flight smoke event. Many of these, most of these thankfully, are small, but on a few, they're actually quite serious. And there have been several aircraft that have experienced significant fire and smoke events. And this is one of the multiple layers of mitigation that a crew can utilize to get a good outcome from a, a bad circumstance. One of the things that I'm ashamed to say that I found in aviation is one of the hardest things to sell is safety. How is the industry responding to this technology? Well, there's thousands of these in service, so I would say that they are responding, but it is, it is slow, and unfortunately, everyone says, well, it won't happen to me, but those that uh, have ever had it happen are some of our uh, very best referrals. And how does the FAA treat something like this? FAA has it on their own aircraft. So, uh, the, Good answer. Yeah, they do, uh, as does the top military, the Coast Guard and uh, their executive transport aircraft have this on board. So everybody recognizes the value of it. It hasn't been mandated, uh, which what I would like to see a whole new approach to the way that we do in-flight smoke fire with the multiple layers of mitigation and ensuring that pilots have clean gas to breathe and a, the ability to see are two of the elements that I think are, we should really be looking at. And finally, where did this idea come from? Uh, the inventor actually produced, was one of the people that produced the, the smoke hoods, and this was an outgrowth out of that is, okay, we can pr make clean air available, but if they, somebody can't see, they can't land the airplane. So this was the next step from that. John, thank you very much. Really Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.